may we are discussing another chapter in our biological science already first chapter first chapter explanation part is completed and the smart work is completed today we are discussing another chapter in our sixth class biology listen very carefully and write running notes everyone should write running notes living organisms what are living organisms living organisms living organisms like plants animals human being and micro organisms micro organisms these are the living organisms plants animals human being and micro organisms all these are living organisms plants animals and human being are multi cellular organisms multi cellular organisms the organism contain more than one cell the organism contain more than one cell that is called multi cellular organisms what are the examples of multi cellular organisms plants animals and human being we are all multi cellular organisms we are all multi cellular organisms micro organisms and the one is micro organisms these are single cellular organisms single or unicellular organisms these are single or unicellular organism that means the organism is made up of only one cell the organism is made up of only one cell example micro organisms micro organisms like bacteria virus are the micro organisms very very smallest living organisms we can't see with our naked eye we can see with the help of microscope for example corona virus it is a micro organism we can't see with our naked eye it is invisible an organism is a invisible we can't see with our naked eye we can see with the help of microscope micro organisms are single cellular organisms the organism is made up of only one cell okay plants animals and human being is a multi cellular organism today our chapter knowing about plants knowing about plants knowing about plants chapter 2 knowing about plants for any one of you knowing about plants our chapter knowing about plants we know that plant is a multi cellular organism living organism 
mainly different parts. Plant consists of different parts. The main parts of the plant. Main parts of the plant. The main parts of the plant. The main parts of the plant. Wood. Wood. Stem. Leaves. Flower. Food. Food. And see. These are the parts of the plant. What are the main parts of the plant? Root, stem, leaves, flower, fruit, and seed. These are the parts of the plant. In the same manner, our body also contains various parts. Various parts. Like the hands, legs, ears, nose, tongue, skin, various parts are also present in our body. Plant also consists of various parts. Like root, stem, leaves, flower, fruit and seed. These parts can perform various functions of the body. These parts can perform various functions of the body. Each part can perform various functions of the body. Vihari, Vihari, Mr. Vihari Sikropari. Right. Each part can perform various functions of the body. For example, root. Materials, transport of various materials, various materials from one part of the plant body to another part of the plant body. For example, root, transport of various materials, various substances like water, mineral salts. Mineral salts, etc. The plant roots are penetrated into the soil. The plant roots are covered into the soil by the students. The plant roots are covered into the soil. The plant roots absorbs water, mineral salts from the soil. Various parts, transported various parts. That means root is one of the part of the plant body. This is useful for transportation. This is useful for transportation. Stem. For example, stem. Stem has support. Support. Support to the plant body. Stem helps support to the plant body. And it is helpful for exchange of gases. Exchange of gases. Stem. Support to the plant body. And helpful for exchange of gases. Exchange of Gases. And it is also essential for transportation of various, various materials. And it is also essential for transportation of various materials. Next.
next leaves we know that leaves are green in color leaves are green in color because chlorophyll is present chlorophyll substance is present chlorophyll substance is present leaves and full fire preparing the food material conducting food material conduct the food material conduct the food and exchange of gases exchange of gases exchange of gases conduct the food material and exchange of gases and it is also useful for transpiration process transpiration process transpiration means excess amount of water is in the form of water vapor excess amount of water is in the form of water vapor that is called transpiration process leaves under the food material exchange of gases and transpiration process transpiration means excess amount of water is in the form of water vapor next flower we can see in our surrounding different types of flowers like rose flower uh, hibiscus chrysanthemum you can see different types of flower flower is one of the part of the plant body it is useful for reproduction 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 means can produce annuals they can produce annuals the parent plant gives daughter plant with the help of flower the parent plant gives daughter plant with the help of flower next fruit and seeds fruit contain seeds fruit contain seeds fruit contain seeds these are the parts of the flower these are the parts of the flower before discussing this one before discussing these one by one plants are mainly consist of two parts plants are mainly consist of two types plants are mainly consist of two types is it before discussing this one plants are mainly consist of two types plants consist of two types two types plants consist of two types one is monocot plant monocot another one is dicot plant monocot and another one is dicot monocot dicot monocot plant and dicot monocot dicot mono means single single cotyledon single cotyledon di means two cotyledon cotyledon 
monopart dipart mono means single single part in leader dipart di means two two part in leader sir what is meant by part in leader what is meant by part in leader part in leader means the seeds are enclosed into the fruit the seeds are the seeds are enclosed into the fruit the seeds are enclosed into the fruit is called cotyledon the seeds are enclosed into the fruit ante fruit lopala seeds unde dani cotyledon amma fruit lopala seeds present ayinte dani em chestamo cotyledon ani chestam plants consists of two parts plants consists of two parts one is mono part another one is di part mono means single part in leden ante oka fruit lo only single seed present ayite aa plants ni mono parts antu adhe fruit lo kala alage fruit lo kala two seeds present ayite two seeds present ayite aa di part
three petals. In dipod plants, flowers have five or more petals. Five or more petals. I do leda under the na equa petals kali hota hai. Bihari ke ni class mein chhimu chhedi ke under the pay. Bihari. Flowers have five or more petals. In dipod plants, flowers have five or more petals. What are the examples of monocot plants? What are the examples of monocot plants? Example: many. Parts of the plant. The main parts of the plant are root, stem, leaves, flower, fruit, and seed. These are the main parts of the plant. First of all, discussing root. First of all, discussing root. Is it all of you? Root is the vital part of the plant. Vital. Vital means important part of the plant. Important part of the plant. We know that every plant root is covered into the Soil. The plant roots are penetrated into the soil. They are roots are useful for anchoring of the plant. Anchoring of the plant. Anchoring of the plant means the plant roots are fixed into the soil. The plant roots are fixed into the soil. Fixed or covered into the covered into the soil. Fixed or covered into the soil. Plant root is a vital part. Means important part. They are useful for. Anchoring of the plant, and it is also useful for absorption of absorption of water and mineral salts. Water and mineral salts from the 
soil. Only soil. The plant roots absorbs water and mineral salts from the soil. And they are transported into various parts of the plant body. We know that. The plant roots are angling of the plant and it is also useful for absorption of water and mineral salts from the soil. These are transported into various parts of the plant body. And they are transported into various parts of the plant body. My dear students, roots are mainly consists of two types. Roots are mainly consists of two types. Roots are mainly consists of two types. One is tap root system. Tap root system. One is tap root system. And the other one is fibrous root system. Fibrous root system. Tap root system. And another one is fibrous root system. Already previous said, in monocot plants are fibrous root. In dicot plants are tap root system. Fibrous root system is present in monocot plants. Example, wheat, maize, etc. Tap root system is present in Dicot plants, example rose, mango, etc. Root consists of two parts. One is tap root system and another one is fibrous root system. Tap root system and fibrous root system. First of all, tap root system. Tap root system means it is grown into the ground level. Is grown into the ground level, ground level. It is grown into the ground level. Tap root system is grown into the ground level, and smaller roots are grown. Smaller roots. Smaller roots are grown. Root system means it is grown into the ground level and the smaller roots are present. Then these smaller roots are called lateral roots. Lateral roots. Lateral means next. Lateral means next. That root system are It is grown into the ground level and the smaller roots are also formed. These are also called lateral roots. Lateral roots. What are the examples of tap root system? Mango roots. Mango roots. This is the tap root system. Another one is fibrous root system. Other one is fibrous root system. Fibrous root system means the cluster of roots. The cluster of the cluster of roots. Cluster means soft. The cluster of roots arising from the base portion. Arising from the base. The cluster of roots, the cluster of roots arising from the base portion of the stem, base of the stem. Very, very important point, my dear students. What is meant by fibrous root system? The cluster of roots arising from the base of the stem. This is called fibrous root system. This is called fibrous root system. Example, wheat and maize. 